News Talk Radio 710 KNUS introduces the Private Label University, the only show that dares to unlock the secrets to your online selling success so you can start making money and and living living your your dreams. dreams. I want to be a billionaire so freaking bad. With over 35 years of sourcing, private labeling, and importing products for the big chain stores and coaching thousands of entrepreneurs, all while building their personal businesses, let's welcome our private label university hosts, the fabulous, lovable, and cutest dynamic duo, Karen and Neil Gwartzman. Welcome to the Private Label University. We are your hosts, Karen and Neil Gwartzman, and this is where we unlock the secrets each week to your online selling success. Visit us over at www.privatelabeluniversity.com where we offer tons of free content and where you will find our eight-week import success formula program. This is the formula to sourcing and importing products so you too can start selling products on Amazon or online and start making the money everyone is talking about that they're making online. And while you're there on our website, leave us a message or a question and we will answer it on the show. Now today, Karen is not here. She's actually traveling around visiting with entrepreneurial clubs as well as retailers across the USA and talking about our China program as well as our import success program because we get calls from all across the nation and she loves to do seminars for companies all the time. So right now she's on her uh, West Coast tour uh, visiting with all the companies that have contacted us. So today, as usual, we love to start off the show with an Amazon find. And we meet so many entrepreneurs that source and import and manufacture and invent products. And we see them being sold on Amazon. And I actually, this week, I'm going to talk about something that I haven't found on Amazon. And I went to Amazon hoping to find it. Um, It's There's a woman called Karen Russell. And she's a baker. And she has a website called Recipe4, with the number 4, wellness.com. Recipe4wellness.com. And the reason why I was seeking her, or actually found her, I should say, was we were seeking a, um, a healthy um, substitute of just candies and cookies for our son who has some allergies. He needs to be gluten-free. Uh, he has a sensitivity to um, eggs and uh, dairy products. And we found, and he loves eating cookies and cakes and donuts and so forth, and who doesn't? So we found there's this person out of Arizona called Karen Russell, who's a uh, baker and also, I guess, a, an inventor, and she came up with a recipe for unbelievable cookies and donuts and breads um, that are gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, egg-free, everything, but they are not taste-free. They taste amazing. And most of the times when I go out and and buy some of those, you know, this free, that free, fat-free, dairy-free, it tastes like sand. It really tastes terrible. And, uh, you know, I was uh, very, very, I'm not even going to say pleasantly surprised. I was really surprised because now I actually include them in my lunch uh, she makes all kinds of cookies from walnut and pralines and cream and, um, of course, with no cream, um, chocolate chip cookies. They're absolutely fantastic. And you can – now, I thought they'd be available on Amazon, but I had to go to her website, and I could order them directly through her website. So it's recipe with the number 4, wellness.com, and you can uh, order directly from her. Her stuff is absolutely amazing. And she makes this award-winning chocolate chip walnut cookie, pecan delight cookies. Um, They are super, super healthy. I know my daughter, who's very active, she's on the tennis team at Cherry Creek. She she has them for breakfast or for a quick snack to get some energy. And they're fantastic. So anyone who has allergies or has, you know, uh, different allergic reactions to some of the different foods, and and without eating all these processed foods these days, um, here is an amazing little uh, snack, and it, it seems like a small company, again, based in Arizona, RecipeForWellness.com, and Karen Russell, you make absolutely phenomenal cookies. So uh, that was my find this week, and I hope they're going to be on Amazon soon. Um, we even sent her a note when we ordered them, you know, please have your stuff on Amazon because uh, we just were always shopping on Amazon, and of course, we talk about Amazon. So this week, um, we want to talk about something that we carried on from our last show, and you know we visit China all the time. We take we take groups and we arrange trips to China to the Canton Fair, and we have what we call the China Trip, um, which is offering the Canton Fair experience. And of course, for those who don't know, the Canton Fair is the largest trade fair in the world, and it's where manufacturers not just from China, all across Asia, um, and you even have companies um, from different parts of Europe now who have set up 
uh, manufacturing facilities uh, in China who exhibit their products there. And the amazing thing is you'll actually see so many products from the USA um, that are at this show. And we just got back from China. And, you know, you have to really help everyone understand of what the experience is like. And I've been going there for, I've been going since the 80s. And, you know, people look at me and they say, well, you don't look that old. And thank you very much. But, yes, I've been doing business in China for over 35 years. And uh, I've been going to the Canton Fair since the mid-80s. And I've seen it change drastically from uh, the amount of people that exhibit there to the type of booze that are exhibit there to the manufacturers and, of course, to the growth. It has just grown exponentially where uh, it used to be held in the downtown region of Guangzhou. And that was the main city. Um, it's, it's close to, to about two hours from Hong Kong, so easy to get to. And it's just an unbelievable place to visit. Uh, and if you're doing business and you're, you're in the physical product uh, business or industry or you're a retailer who's looking to source products, this is the place to be. And, again, we can't express enough to our clients and our students who take our program to really go to China and see what it's like because it's a whole other world out there. And it's not that business is so much different, but it's the way that business is done and, of course, the variety. You know, every time you go into a, a store here in any type of mall or, you know, even your Walmart or your Home Depot, those products are being shown at the Canton Fair. And there's manufacturers uh, that are there who produce for all the big chains uh, and all the big retailers and all the big online sales companies. So it's, it's you know... It, when people ask me, you know, what's it like? And I said, it's just, it's something totally different because it's different from all the trade shows that you'll visit in the USA. You know, there's lots of different trade shows held here. And even in the biggest cities uh, in Chicago and New York and Los Angeles, nothing compares. And sometimes you have some of the China companies showing up to these shows just to show their wares. But, you know, really when you're in their backyard doing business, um, it's just a totally different experience. Um, and it's a healthy experience. It's something if you're in business whether you just launched your online company or you've been in a retailer, uh, whether you have five stores or 100 stores for 35, 40 years, you know, a lot of times people say, well, I already buy products from China. Well, really, are you buying them from China or are you just buying them from another distributor or another supplier who claims you may be buying it directly from China? And once you actually go to China, uh, if you take our eight-week eight -week program and we prepare you, of course, for the Canton Fair, you know, you're equipped with everything you need to do business there. And seeing how uh, people in China do business, uh, it, it's very entertaining in some respects because, you know, they're eager to do business. And with negotiating and pricing and, uh, you know, just from, from start to finish, uh, it really is an eye-opener. So we always recommend people, if you're going to be in the physical product business uh, and you want to grow it, uh, as well as if you're a retailer who's buying products all the time and you really want to add variety, then you have to go to China. And we highly recommend our China trip to the Canton Fair in Guangzhou, China. And we go twice a year. We go in April and we go in October. And we cover all parts of the show. Uh, you really get to see everything that goes on there. Uh, and it's truly an amazing experience. And, you know, a lot of times people are worried. They say, well, you know, I don't know what to do when I get there. And, uh, you know, what do I have to prepare for? And what do I have to pack? And, and we prepare you for everything. Before you get to that show, you're going to feel so comfortable. We help you with everything from uh, getting your visa to getting an invitation to the show, uh, knowing what to bring, uh, knowing that you don't have to bring toilet paper. That was one of the biggest questions we got was, do I have to bring toilet paper? No, the Chinese people do use toilet paper. They manufacture it for all the big companies that come to the U.S. Um, so it, it's a matter of we prepare you so when you're there, you feel right at home, you're getting business done, and there's no worries. And, again, People who are here in the U.S., you know, you have to get a visa. We help you with all that in the show. Uh, so that way, again, when you get there, it's very, very easy. And, of course, there's a language barrier, but it's nothing to worry about because uh, we have our own interpreters. We have our own team that are with you, uh, that are helping you along the way with the language, with negotiation. And you don't have to worry. It, it, we make it seamless. And if you look at our testimonials, go to our website at privatelabeluniversity.com. You'll see the amazing testimonials from people uh, who come with us at the show, and they just can't believe it. It really is uh, a, an experience of a lifetime, and it's something that we recommend to all retailers, all buying groups, uh, and all entrepreneurs, especially if you're in the physical product uh, business. So the China trip, which is held twice a year. So I'm Neil Gorsman. It's Karen and Neil Gorsman with the Private Label University, and we will be right back. <laughs> Thank you. 
Are you ready to kick that sugar addiction, reduce belly fat, and still enjoy delicious sweets and breads? Yes, it is possible. Recipe for Wellness is a company that is run by Karen Russell, a world-renowned certified health coach and nutritionist with over 20 years of experience working with the most challenging health issue facing our society. Karen has figured out the secret to a healthier life for all of us without sacrificing sweets and offers very yummy products like cookies, brownies, and breads that are actually healthy for you. That's right. Cookies and bread that are not only delicious, but healthy too. If you're ready to lose weight, increase your energy level, sleep soundly, reduce stress, take control of your health, and not have to give up sweets or bread, then visit RecipeForWellness.com. That's Recipe, the number four, Wellness.com. Again, to shop online for delicious and healthy sweets, visit RecipeForWellness.com. Start living your healthier life without guilt today. Would an extra $1,000 a month, $5,000 a month, or even $10,000 a month help you live a better life? It doesn't have to stop there. People just like you are making thousands of dollars selling products on Amazon. The best part is, it's simple. All you need is a product. Karen and Neil Quartzman, creators of Private Label University, are here to show you how. How to find that perfect product so you can join millions of people and start making the money that everyone is talking about on Amazon. Private Label University unlocks 35 years of secrets about sourcing, importing, and private labeling products for big chain stores. Karen and Neil truly believe in you. So much that they'll invest $500 towards your tuition in the Private Label University program. The Import Success Formula. Go to Karen and Neil's website at privatelabeluniversity.com and enroll in the Import Success Formula program. Enter code PLU for $500 off your tuition of the program when paid in full. So what are you waiting for? Head over to privatelabeluniversity.com and sign up today. We now return to the Private Label University with your hosts, Karen and Neil Gortzman on News Talk 710 KNUS. Welcome back to the show. You're listening to Karen and Neil Gortzman with the Private Label University. At, and visit us at www.privatelabeluniversity.com to see all the information and see about signing up for our free boot camp that we offer. And we were just talking about the Canton Fair experience. Um, and I was going to highlight some of the uh, parts about the show as well as doing business in China. And as if you just uh, sign on to the show now, um, Karen is not with us. She's actually uh, touring with companies, uh, giving seminars uh, across the nation to companies that are interested in learning about more about our program and for us to teach uh, people in their company our program. So China, China, as I mentioned, with the Canton Fair and the Canton Fair experience, truly is an amazing thing. And when you take our China trip, again, if you go to our website and see our testimonials, you'll see how easy we make it for you and how comforting it is when you learn everything you need to know about doing business in China, feeling comfortable in China, because it could be a scary thing. You know, you're traveling halfway around the world. Uh, there's a language barrier. There is a cultural barrier. There's, you know, differences of food. When you go to eat, you're not going to be ordering, uh, you know, egg rolls and fortune cookies. The food is, is prepared much differently, but it is amazing. Uh, again, that's another question we get asked about all the time is, how's the food? And uh, am I going to get sick? And should I bring? No, no. You don't have to bring peanut butter and, and you know, bricks of salami. The food is sensational. Fresh fish, fresh seafood, amazing vegetables. The best watermelon you'll ever have in your life, fresh squeeze, squeeze juice of all kinds, dragon fruits, dairy and fruits. It's just unbelievable. So, again, we make sure that the experience for you when you take our trip is unbelievable with the top restaurants, with the greatest testing of foods uh, and meals, and, of course, learning how to do business in China. And there is a technique when you're doing business in China. Um, I get asked all the time when I meet with buying groups at chain stores, um, that, you know, well, why should business be any different from, from here? And, and it is. And I have to explain to them because people do business there in a different way. Sometimes it's faster pace. Sometimes it's a slower pace. With that language barrier and that cultural barrier, sometimes they just don't understand exactly what you mean. When you say you want to order a ton of products, well, they may think you're going to order a ton of products. And so they're going to weigh out the product by the ton. So you really have to be detailed. And again, in a lot of our programs, we explain how you talk to companies. 
and when you're negotiating and discussing uh, what you're going to do with your physical product, what what the factory has to know. And, you know, in most of the factories, they don't have big fancy marketing departments. Um, you know, some of these companies don't even have the ability to export at all. Uh, these These are just... Uh, companies that manufacture the product, and then, of course, the product is passed on to a trading company or an agency, maybe in Hong Kong or Taiwan, that exports for them. And there are hundreds of thousands of factories in China that just manufacture the products. And so sometimes when I meet with companies and they say, oh, I, I buy direct from China all the time, I say, well, where are you buying it from? Well, I'm buying it from Hong Kong. Well, is the factory in Hong Kong? Oh, no. Well, maybe it's in Taiwan or maybe... Okay, so you don't know where the product's coming from. And to me, that's also something that a lot of companies should be aware of. You should know where you're buying your product from. Uh, it, it's very important. You know, I, I read about all the time you see in the newspaper where these big companies are blaming China. Big toy companies are getting caught because there's lead in the paint or maybe the wood hasn't been tested for something. Well, I'm not going to blame the company in China. It's these billion-dollar U.S. corporations who have set up the manufacturing facilities or they've hired or contracted these companies, haven't they seen them? Haven't they seen the products, the, the raw materials that are going into making those products? I've looked at every, I've been to over probably 3,000 factories in China, and I make sure any of the products that I have made, I go and visit. I see how the products are made. And that's very, very important when you're having products made. So, you know, when, when Mattel says, oh, the, you know, the Elmo toys are being, uh, uh, you know, there's a recall because there's lead in the paint. Well, I'm not going to blame the company in China. What, he, Mattel's a huge company. Why weren't they checking in on to see what paint it was? So it's very important to know that the companies in China will do what they are hired to do. And you can get the top quality because a lot of the, you know, the biggest companies in the world from, you know, the top designers from Gucci and Chanel and Louis Vuitton, they have products made in China. So they're making sure that the products are being made correctly. And, and that's, that's the key here. So when you're doing business in China, of course, the main reason is price. There's a huge savings. Um, when the labor costs are much lower, the, the rental fees are much lower, the uh, cost to package the products are much lower, all of that taken into consideration, you have a lower cost product. It's not necessarily you're getting a cheaper product. I always say, if you want to have a 10 cent item made in China, there's no problem. They'll make you a product for 10 cents. If you want a product that has value of $10,000, well, they'll make sure all the components and all the materials are of $10,000 value. Uh, of course, from that comes all the marketing behind it. But it, it's very important that you can really have anything you want for your company, whether you're a retailer or starting a physical product business, you can have it made that way in China. And we introduce you to... Uh, and explain the differences, of course, between agents and trading companies and manufacturers and exporters. So you know, especially when you're going to the Canton Fair or if you're on Alibaba or AliExpress lurking for products, you really have to know what to look for. You have to know those key words that explain what those companies that you're going to do business with are, what they represent. Are they a manufacturer? Are they just an agent? Maybe they have the, you know, they're on Alibaba for the, for this month, and next month they're out of business. You don't know that. So we train you and we teach you what to look for uh, when you're doing business uh, in China. Uh, it's also building relationships. It's very important when you're in China, uh, whether it be on Alibaba or AliExpress, but most importantly, when you're going to China, you start that relationship. People see that you're serious in business, and that's why uh, we, you know, we, we say it's so important when you take our China trip that that's the first start for making a successful business in China, for making that relationship with companies there. And the, the amazing thing is once you start b doing business there, you see where your competition is buying from as well because a lot of the manufacturers there, they're proud to say that they're manufacturing products for Home Depot and Lowe's and Walmart and Target. And they have all those big names up there because they really – they don't want to hide it. And sometimes uh, those big retailers want to show that we're using a good factory. We're using the top factory. So, you know, you can come to us and be uh, confident that you're going to get a good product. So it's a way of, you know, you learn how the Chinese do business and how they're effective at doing business. So when you go to the show, again, you can see how they talk to you, how they present themselves, how the booth is displayed, 
Uh, they'll show you the product. A lot of times they'll have videos of showing you the factory. And if the factory is close enough, they'll say, hey, if you have time and you're going to stay in China for a few extra days while the show is on, we'll take you to our factory. We're so proud of our factory and the companies we manufactured for. We'll take you there and show you how our staff works, how we manufacture it. Look at our machinery. Our machinery not only is, is just uh, uh, used here, but it's imported from Germany or imported from Italy, and we use the top uh, uh, raw materials that we import from Canada. Well, you know, Some of these China companies import raw materials from USA as well, um, from Japan, from Germany, from Italy, from France, from the UK, everywhere. So, you know, again, building that relationship with companies Uh, It's important, and again, it helps you understand how commerce and business is done in other countries. And once you get a taste of how business is being done at the Canton Fair in Guangzhou, China, it gives you an idea of other countries. So companies in Japan and companies in Taiwan, do they do business exactly the same as China? No, but it gives you that, again, that flair and that idea of how business is being done uh, in Taiwan. in Hong Kong, you know, for years, Hong Kong was the go-to place as well as Taiwan for importing products. And a lot of people thought, oh, I'm, you know, all my business is done through Hong Kong. Well, you're really actually not getting it made in Hong Kong. It's coming from China. And back then, of course, the Hong Kong people, and still today, a lot of Hong Kong people don't like to call themselves, you know, we're from China. They say we're from Hong Kong. And th- those companies have all moved into mainland China. They've moved into Shenzhen. They've moved into Foshan. they moved into Guangzhou because, again, the cost of labor, the cost of space, uh, the cost to rent um, a warehouse is just far too expensive in Hong Kong where it's affordable in uh, the rest of mainland China. So, uh, you know, they still will keep an office in Hong Kong, but when you think you're doing business in China – and you're just buying it on Hong Kong, it's not coming from a factory in Hong Kong 90% of the time. Um, So that's why we say find out where it's coming from because what city is it coming from? And the people that you're dealing with in Hong Kong, where in China have they looked at the factory? The same thing in Taiwan. Where in Taiwan are they buying it from? Because a lot of Taiwanese factories, um, same thing, they get it made in China. Uh, even with uh, you know Japanese and Korean companies now, they're also having their products made in China. So the amazing thing about the Canton Fair in Guangzhou, China, is you see all these factories and um, agents and export companies that are there, and you'll see packaging in Japanese. You'll see packaging in Korean, in German, in Farsi, in Hebrew, in French, in Every single language. It's amazing. And then, of course, you have some companies who will just put every single language on it because they know that they're internationally successful with uh, the way they can market their product. And that makes it easier for you, especially if you are on uh, have an online business. If you're in the physical product business industry and you're on Amazon or you're on Rakuten or Jet or any of the big online selling sites, now you can actually sell your product in all these other countries. You can sell it to Amazon Japan. You can sell it to Amazon UK and Germany because it's already ready. And, you know, the companies in China realize that. They see that there's a huge opportunity for the billions of dollars that are there to be made online with Amazon and the other online um, platforms. And that's the place to be. And they say, you know, it's almost that they're one step ahead of us. They say, well, if that's a business that's growing online and there's so many people getting involved, we're going to make sure that we have our product ready. So the amazing thing is at the Canton Fair, uh, you see that and you get to meet with all these companies. And again, we prepare you. uh, We teach you all you need to know as far as uh, learning the basics, uh, as well as some advanced techniques of negotiating, what to look for on the packaging, what questions to ask the manufacturers and the representatives that are there. Uh, and this way, you you walk away feeling great about the product and the company. Uh, and that'll be the key to, to your growing success, especially online, because you, know, you, you only want your business to grow. And there's a huge world out there that's only getting bigger, especially online. And a, a lot of people don't realize that. Uh, retailers who are just, you know, planning their business on e-commerce for their own site, that's that's a thing of the past. Um, you know, I hate to, to turn on the light bulb there, but you can't live in the dark. If you're just relying on your own website, that's not the way to go. You have to uh, look at other online platforms like Amazon and Rakuten and even eBay um, because there are millions and millions and I'm going to say billions of people because there's over a billion people in China and India 
that are looking to buy products and buy products on a daily basis. I'm going to say on a, every minute people are buying products on Amazon. And if you can have your products in and supply them uh, to be serviced by Amazon in all these other countries, you're going to be making a fortune. When people say that they're making, oh, an extra 100000 or 200000 or even just $10,000 a month on Amazon, that's because they're following the correct steps. And a lot, I'm proud to say a lot of p- these people have taken our program and they've proven now to be successful in using those skills that we teach to sell online. Uh, so, and especially the key is buying products at the right price um, and then doing business overseas, doing business in China and in Asia. And again, we make it so easy uh, when you're there to do business and what to look for. And you know, when I take these big companies, they're buyers. And they, they can't believe that. They think they're, they've they been paying the lowest price for all these years, and all of a sudden now they're paying 40 and 50% less just because I brought them in, introduced them, and have new negotiating skills. So it, it, it's an amazing thing. So this is Neil Gortzman, usually with Karen O'Neill from the Private Label University, and we will be right BC back. BC News, I'm Mona Rivera. A U.S. drone has taken out a major terrorist. More from ABC's Jennifer Eccleston. A senior Taliban commander in Afghanistan has confirmed to the Associated Press that its leader, Mullah Mansour, has been killed in an American airstrike carried out by a number of drones. U.S. officials confirmed the strike took place when Mansour was riding in a vehicle in a remote area of Pakistan along the Afghan border. The search for the black boxes in the crash of Egypt Air Flight 804 continues. Egypt says it has dispatched a submarine to the area where the plane went down in the eastern Mediterranean. Meanwhile, ISIS has released a new audio recording calling for fresh terrorist attacks against the U.S. and Europe, but it made no mention of the doomed plane. In the race for the White House, a new poll shows Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are now in a dead heat. The ABC News Washington Post poll found that Clinton lost a big lead she had over Trump in March. This is ABC News. News Talk 710 KNUS. Many of us have been ignoring the latest news about the harmful effects of sugar. Why? Because we don't want to give up our yummy chocolates, cookies, and pizza. What if there was a way that you could eat healthier and not have to give any of the guilty pleasures of sweets and pizza up? RecipeForWellness.com is a company run by Karen Russell, who is a world-renowned certified health coach and nutritionist with over 20 years' experience working with the most challenging health issues facing our society. Karen Russell has created products that are not only incredibly delicious, but also healthy to eat. Karen's most popular sweet treats are her pecan cookies and delicious brownies. She uses natural ingredients that are healthy and healing. If you're ready to lose weight, increase your energy level, sleep soundly, take control of your health, and not have to give up the sweets, then check out Karen's company, RecipeForWellness.com, and start living a healthier life without the guilt. Again, that's Recipe, the number four, Wellness.com. Would an extra $1,000 a month, $5,000 a month, or even $10,000 a month help you live a better life? It doesn't have to stop there. People just like you are making thousands of dollars selling products on Amazon. The best part is, it's simple. All you need is a product. Karen and Neil Quartzman, creators of Private Label University, are here to show you how. How to find that perfect product so you can join millions of people and start making the money that everyone is talking about on Amazon. Private Label University unlocks 35 years of secrets about sourcing, importing, and private labeling products for big chain stores. Karen and Neil truly believe in you. So much that they'll invest $500 towards your tuition in the Private Label University program. The Import Success Formula. Go to Karen and Neil's website at privatelabeluniversity.com and enroll in the Import Success Formula program. Enter code PLU for $500 off your tuition of the program when paid in full. So what are you waiting for? Head over to privatelabeluniversity.com and sign up today. I am very delighted when a product that I endorse is as good as Harry's Razors. The handle is very important. I like I like its weight. I like its heft. I like the richness. I like the quality. It's a fantastic shave, and it's at a great price. Harry's makes just one razor with all you need for a close, comfortable shave. Full refund if you're not happy. Factory direct prices cut out the middleman, so it's half the price of the leading brand. 
Harry starter set for just $15. That's it. You get the great razor handle I talked about, moisturizing shave cream, and three of Harry's five-blade German-engineered razors. Plus, there's a special offer for my listeners. Harry's will give you $5 off your first purchase with the promo code Prager. Go to harrys.com right now and look for the Truman set. That's H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com. Enter the code Prager at checkout to get $5 off. To get $5 off, and of course, it supports the show stop compromising give harry's a try today harry's.com private label university with your hosts karen and neil gorsman on news talk 710 knus for those of you who are joining us we are karen and neil gorsman and you're listening to the private label university on 710 knus where we unlock the secrets each week to your online selling success and as i mentioned earlier if you've already been on um it's only me here today. Karen is out, again, uh, visiting with companies around the U.S., talking about our program. And I've been talking, of course, about China, my favorite thing. I've been traveling there for over 35 years. And I've been talking about some of the, the best reasons why you should do business in China in person, uh, especially at the big Canton Fair in, in Guangzhou, China. And if you're selling products online or you're sourcing products from Alibaba or AliExpress, it could really take you weeks, it can take you months to find the right product. And I see people and I hear about it all the time on a daily basis. You know, I've been looking on Alibaba, I've been looking on AliExpress, and it's been, you know, I spend hours and hours and sometimes all night trying to find the product. And I see it's one price and I find another price and I don't know who this company is. And then I, the MOQ, the minimum order quantity is far too high. Um, what do I do? And, again, that's why we tell people you can look for months and months on Alibaba and really never find the right product because you really can't, you can't touch it, you can't feel it, you can't really see how it's, uh, you know, the quality of the product. But when you go to China, when you go to the Canton Fair, uh, when you're in Guangzhou and you see all these factories and you see these companies at the Canton Fair – you, you get to see the product. That's the key. And you get to talk to the people that are going to sell you the product. So, again, you're building up that relationship that we talked about earlier. So, you know, when we take our, our, our people to, uh, to China on the sourcing trips, um, what would take you months, sometimes years, to find that perfect product or that good product, because we call it perfect product syndrome. People keep looking and looking and never find it. Um, you can get it done in one week. And again, if you go to our website at www.privatelabeluniversity.com, you'll see all the testimonials of people who went there. And some people, instant success within two days, found a product, were able to launch their brand online because they were able to go back. They found the perfect product. They went back to their hotel room that night, started you know researching it, and then started – that was going to be their launch of their product. So it's really a powerful tool going to the Canton Fair in Guangzhou, China. And, you know, there's a lot of people who call themselves experts. You know, they go to China once, and all of a sudden, they feel like they're Chinese. They feel like they know everything about China, um, but they've only been there one time. And, you know, I see people who, who have these online programs. They can't even pronounce the names of the cities correctly. They can't even pronounce the, the show correctly. And, you know, it, it kind of bothers me because I've been doing business uh, in China overseas uh, for over 35 years. And, you know, you better know how to pronounce that city. You better know how to pronounce and talk about not just one time. Uh, you know, again, it, it, I've been to the show over 20 times, uh, and I've been to probably over 150 different shows worldwide. So with that experience... Um, I've, I've gained, of course, all the knowledge, and that's why I'm a lot of times the go-to person to ask about different shows and ask about what it's like doing business in Taiwan, in Japan, signing those contracts in Japan, um, you know, what to do the etiquette of doing business in Korea, in Japan, in China. Uh, it's very, very important. And, you know, you can try to do it on your own, but it's tough. Um, you know, again, with all the different language barriers, cultural barriers, etiquette barriers, business barriers, um, you know, you want to be effective when you start to do business. When you're going to do business and start a physical product business, or if you're in the retail business and you're going to start looking to do business overseas, you want to make sure that you have the right tools in place. You know how to talk. You know the questions you should be asking. And that's very, very important in the longevity of your business and for people to take you seriously and understand you because, again, there is a language barrier. 
So, you know, the crazy thing is, again, when I hear these programs where the person's gone to China once and all of a sudden he's trying to sell a program to you because he considers himself an expert, how effective can that be? Um, especially when they say, meet us there. I know there was one group who told us, they said, meet us in China. And they said, okay, you're on your own. Welcome to China. And the people are like, what? Aren't you going to teach us anything? He's like, no, I just thought I'd meet you here. But meanwhile, he charged the money for that. So, again, in our programs, we make sure you are fully prepared with what to expect from when you get off that airplane, uh, from when you, you're checked into the hotel, going to that show, how to negotiate, how to talk to the factories, how to talk to the representatives at the booze uh, at the Canton Fair in Guangzhou, China. And, you know, everyone is looking for businesses these days. Um, whatever type of product or ever, any type of industry, industry you're in, everyone's looking to save money. Everyone's looking for another resource. They're looking for a different way to do business. And the nice thing is the Canton Fair in Guangzhou, China, offers that. They offer the variety. You know, uh, pet products. You can see thousands and thousands of pet products, products that haven't even hit the stores of Petco and Walmart and Target. And these products are being launched there, and that's where those buyers from those stores are going. And sometimes even those buyers don't know how to buy properly. Um, so they may miss out. Maybe you have a keener eye when you're walking down those those really long aisles filled with all these manufacturers. Maybe something's going to catch your attention that they wouldn't find. And now you found the perfect product. Now you can launch your business. Now you can make the extra twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars that people are making online selling on Amazon or any of the other online platforms, or offering them in your stores. You know, if you're a retailer and you're looking to expand. You know, you, if you're only relying on the suppliers, the local suppliers, then that's the only products you're going to see. And when they tell you, oh, this is all that's available or these are the newest products, how do you know they're not offering you last year's product or products that they've had sitting in their warehouse for two, three years? You don't know that. You're just listening to their sales rep who's saying, oh, you know, we've got the newest products and maybe they just took the old product and put it in a new box. Uh, so it's very important. If you know, you have to be on the ground. You have to be the soldier of your company. You have to go to China and you have to see how uh, business is being done and see the variety of products because it really is unbelievable. When you, as, again, I talk about these pet products. You see thousands of them. Uh, when you look at kitchen utensils, there are thousands. I didn't realize a knife could be made, you know, one thousand and one different ways with different uh, edges and handles, and it's all there. And we teach you in your in our program how to be successful at that show, what to look for, the questions to ask, not have to buy 10,000 pieces, negotiate properly so you can buy low quantities of maybe 500 pieces or even 100 pieces, how to successfully import it. That's the key. How to su we teach you how to successfully import it with customs, with logistics, with all the different freight terminology. Um, and then even with packaging and marking, we, you know, depending on where you want to take your business. If you're a retailer, you want to package one way. If it's strictly for online where it's going to be sold in Amazon warehouses, again, we help you. We tell you what can work best. You may have your own ideas for your company, and that's great. But we're going to help you through making sure when you're doing business in China that you're going to be successful doing it. And that's the key because we're, it's all about making money. We all want to make more money. And if you can have that added income of five, five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars a month to pay for all those extra expenses, to pay for college, to pay for the mortgage, to pay for your car payments, you can do it. It's easy. It really is easy. In our program, we make it so easy to do. And again, we give you the tools to make you successful. So when you're starting your physical product business or your retailer who want to really increase your business. Find new products, not only rely on the distributors and suppliers that you're buying from now. Because like I say, I sometimes see they're offering you products that were being launched three, four years ago. That's because they bought way too many, maybe only had one customer. Maybe there was one big chain store that your supplier was supplying, and now they dropped it, and he's got to get rid of it. So he's saying, oh, well, it is a new product. It's not. If you go to that show with the Private Label University, you will see new products uh, and that's the amazing thing. Uh, e even products that maybe people think don't exist anymore, you'll see them there. And you'll think, wow, what happened to those? I love those, 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 those you know, I remember the toy wizards, these things that you'd uh, scrape on the ground and they'd twirl around uh, some of the old games, some of the retro games that they're reintroducing for the toy market because they see that there's a business for it now. 
um, people who want to introduce all retro items, they can go to China and there's factories that are making those items with new boxes. It's not like they're taking the old packaging from 50 years ago. They're making them all new to make them look old. So it's uh, an amazing opportunity. So uh, please visit our website. Go to privatelabeluniversity.com. See the testimonials. Learn about our trip. It's an amazing opportunity for any retailer or anyone who's starting a physical product business and wants to launch a product going to the Canton Fair in Guangzhou, China. So this is Neil Gwartzman, and you are listening to the Private Label University. We will be right back. Are you ready to kick that sugar addiction, reduce belly fat, and still enjoy delicious sweets and breads? Yes, it is possible. Recipe for Wellness is a company that is run by Karen Russell, a world-renowned certified health coach and nutritionist with over 20 years of experience working with the most challenging health issue facing our society. Karen has figured out the secret to a healthier life for all of us without sacrificing sweets and offers very yummy products like cookies, brownies, and breads that are actually healthy for you. That's right, cookies and breads that are not only delicious, but healthy too. If you're ready to lose weight, increase your energy level, sleep soundly, reduce stress, take control of your health, and not have to give up sweets or bread, then visit RecipeForWellness.com. That's Recipe, the number four, Wellness.com. Again, to shop online for delicious and healthy sweets, visit RecipeForWellness.com. Start living your healthier life without guilt today. Hi, folks. It's Alan Roach, the voice of Denver sports teams. 2016 certainly shaping up to be a memorable year for Wall Street, but not necessarily for the right reasons. People are worried, especially those people who are getting close to retirement. And unfortunately, when people worry, that's when they tend to panic and start making mistakes with their investment strategy. Maybe it's time to take a different approach, one that can help reduce some of the worry that's been caused by what's happening on Wall Street. I'm talking about Asset Lock, a portfolio monitoring software that can help protect your profits while at the same time helping to limit your losses. It's an award-winning technology that was created right here in Denver. Asset Lock allows you to decide how much risk you're comfortable taking in today's market. Call 720-457-6844 today to find out how Asset Lock can work for you. That's 720-457-6844. We now return to the Private Label University with your hosts, Karen and Neil Gortzman on News Talk 710 KNUS. For those of you just joining us, we are Karen and Neil Gortzman, and you're listening to the Private Label University, where we unlock the secrets each week to your online selling success. And um, we, before I was talking about, of course, extensively about China and the Canton Fair, and we talked about all the incredible business incentives of working uh, with China companies uh, and going there and building relationships. So I want to talk um, a little bit more about, you know, a lot of people talk about politically, can I import from China? Is it safe to import from China? Um, are any, you know, there are a lot of problems that I that can come up, and there isn't. Just remember, all the products you're buying, from your iPhone to your running shoes to most of the products you use on a daily basis, are coming from Asia. They're coming from, of course, China because of the size of the country, the manufacturing capabilities, um, and the able the ability to produce quickly and efficiently. Um, not that we can't do it in, in the United States or in any part of North America, but the idea is when there's that much more of a workforce and the uh, space available uh, to build factories and have the workforce to produce you know, all day long and have the shifts. It's not like one guy's sitting there working for 19 hours, they have their shifts set up. Um, and so the, the quality of craftsmanship is amazing. Um, you know, I, I like to joke around about dollar stores. Um, I, I think dollar stores are great. They're worldwide. And if you really think to yourself, years ago when they didn't have the dollar stores, when something was uh, put out at a dollar, you went, really? What's wrong with it? Why is it a dollar? And then usually the store was clearing it out or they just wanted to get rid of it. But really a lot of those products only really cost 50 cents, and so those stores were selling it for, or I should say the dollar stores now sell it for a dollar. So back then, when if someone said to you, well, what about opening a dollar store? People would say, you're crazy. No one's going to buy anything for a dollar. Well, if the product only costs 10, 20, 30 cents, there's no reason why you can't sell it for a dollar. And you have a lot of retailers who frown upon the whole idea of the dollar store. But have you ever been to some of the good dollar stores? It's amazing what you'll find in there. You know, a broom, a, uh, 
um, a lot of the cleaning supplies, a lot of the big manufacturers, the name brands have said, wow, there's a huge industry for us to tap into, dollar stores, because we have all these extra products that we're manufacturing. Why don't we just sell it to them? Maybe a little smaller jar. Maybe we're not going to put as much labeling or the fancy packaging, but we can sell an extra million units or 10 million units a year. We're going to do it. So, um, you know, again, years ago, people would have thought it's crazy, but they're a hugely successful company worldwide. They're in every country. They have dollar stores. So when we talk about China, um, it, it's, again, going to the Canton Fair in Guangzhou, China, uh, especially when you take our program and go with the private label university. Uh, it, it really opens the opportunities um, that are endless for your company. And whether you're a retail company or you're starting a physical product business, it really will open your eyes to what you can do and what's available. And when you've been buying products from your suppliers for you know, your cost of 2 and $3 and you find it actually only, you know, you can buy directly from the manufacturer for 30 40 and $0.50. Cents. Look at your margins now. Look how much more money you could be making. Look how more successful and private labeling that product so it becomes yours. So you're not relying on the supplier or the uh, distributor that you're buying from. Now you can actually market your own product. And especially if you're going to sell it online, that's the key. You want to private label that product so you can build up the demand of your product. So when people come to your stores, they ask for your product, not someone else's product. You know, when, when, you, when you're just selling another product from another distributor, another manufacturer, you're making money, but you're making them more money too because it's just increasing uh, the performance of that product and the, you know, the, the variety that they're going to build on as well as the success of that product. So every time you sell more of it, their product becomes more successful. And you have to remember that sometimes those products are being sold to the bigger chain stores. If you're a smaller chain store or a smaller individual store, you may not be you know, buying that product at the better price level. Well, if you're going to China with the private label university, of course, you could buy it at a better, uh, a better value, a lower price. But when you're held captive from your suppliers and your distributors, uh, especially if you're buying from manufacturers, so the manufacturer is giving huge discounts to the big chain stores and not as much to you. And so if you had a product that you could build on, so it just doesn't build his name, it's going to build the demand for people to come to your store, to your online site, or search, search for your product on Amazon. Think of it. If you build up a demand on Amazon, you can build up that demand not just in Amazon USA. You can build it up in Amazon UK, in Japan, in Germany, in France. Now you have your product internationally. So from doing, let's say, five, six, ten thousand 10000 a month, now you can be doing possibly $100,000 extra a month with your product because people are looking for your product. You're not just representing a product. A lot of times that's what retailers have to remember. When you buy from other distributors or other manufacturers and you're selling their product, you're just another rep. You're just repping their product. So, of course, you're making money on it. You're in business to make money, but you're repping their product. It's not your product. And so if they decide at any time – Maybe they'll give a, a way better, a much lower cost to the bigger chains, or they're going to give an exclusive uh, part of that product range to one of the chain stores. Then you're out of luck, and you're not making the money. And so, you know, you're again, you're held captive. But if you private label your product, and that's the key in our programs, we teach you how to private label that product so it becomes yours and it becomes more successful. And again, if you're a retailer or you're starting a physical product business. It's, it's, it's the key right now in these times to learn how to private label that product. So very, very important. And we teach you all the steps about private labeling that product from looking for that perfect product to packaging that product and industries to sell it to because there are so many industries out there. You know, if you're only uh, dedicating your product to one industry, open your eyes. You know, take off those blinkers because it could go into other industries, which you never even thought of. And that's what we help you do. We help you open your eyes, whether, again, you're a retailer or you're just in the physical product business. We want to show you how you can expand your business, and that's the key. So take a look at our website, www.privatelabeluniversity.com. Look at the testimonials and see about our program. Very, very important. So we get tons of questions sent to us all the time, people always sending us emails with questions. So we are going to go into question time. It's question time with your dynamic duo hosts, Karen and Neil Gortzman. What's your billion-dollar question? 
Okay, thank you. So it's funny, since Karen's not here, I did dress up in my cape and my uniform, which uh, Don is looking at. He keeps saying, that guy is so muscular in such good shape for a guy his age. He's like, wow, how do I do it? And I say, just go visit our website and take our program, and you'll learn. Um, so, again, we get questions sent to us all the time, um, and we're going to jump right into the first question here. So someone asked, will the U.S. ever be able to compete with China uh, n at, in this day and age, or is this just an opinion of mine? And this came from Grand Junction, building Grand Junction. You're not very clear on your question, but will the U.S. ever be able to compete with China? Well, you know, I, I hate to be a downer. Not really. Um, you know, the cost of um, renting a space here, the cost of property, um, what we pay in salaries and wages is just a lot higher here. You know, the, the for one to live anywhere in North America is just a lot more expensive. Uh, you have to look at the cost of living. The cost of living is much less in China. Uh, the cost of food is less in China. Um, and so the cost of labor as well is less. And the manufacturing, they have way more raw materials. Um, you know, it's funny when I, I see some companies who they send out people to pick up all the empty water bottles. Um, and and you, you see guys on bicycles with it's like six feet tall, strapped to a bicycle by six feet wide, and they're taking these bottles to factories that recycle them to make plastic products. And that way, that factory is very proud to say that they use recycled products. So, you know, as much as the U.S. and North America and parts of Europe, they claim to be, you know, really online with being eco-friendly and recycling, the Ch Chinese have been into recycling for years, and they recycle a lot of these products every day in and day out product from the soles of shoes to the fabrics, it all gets reconstituting into making up new products. So will the U.S. be able to do that? I just don't think uh, in the near future we can. And that's why, of course, we've invested so much in China. Uh, there's just a huge opportunity for businesses in, in the U.S. to be successful doing business in China. So, um, you know, I, it's a great question, Bill. I think uh, if you're in business and you have a business here and you're manufacturing products, keep doing it. If you can outsource some of those raw materials or the packaging, well, go ahead. Look to China. Take our program. Come with us to, to uh, the Canton Fair in Guangzhou, China, uh, and see what the opportunities are, maybe making an accessory for the product that you have. So that's a great question. Uh, next question we have here is from Jill in San Diego. She says, why is it that U.S. companies chose to do business only with Asia? Well, I, I don't think that U.S. companies only choose to do business uh, in Asia. You know, there's still, I do business in all parts of Europe. I do business in the U.K., in France, in Germany. Um, I do business in Canada. But for certain products, for, for large volumes um, of products and packaging um, outsourcing some of the packaging, it's just much more cost effective uh, to get it done in Asia. And I think they choose that again. It comes down to cost. You know, any type of company, um, again, I talked about the, the dollar stores. Well, it's more cost effective to make those products in China. And a lot of the factories, uh, I said I've visited factories that only manufacture products made for the dollar store. So they make it in a bottle that's a little bit smaller. Maybe it's not 16 ounces, it's 12 ounces. So you know, no one the, don't think the dollar stores are losing money. They're still making lots and lots of money, but it's just Asia has the opportunity with again uh, with space. There's still cities where they have so much space to build more and more factories and factories to expand. And again, they have the workforce. Um, you know, you're not limited now to the one child law. You can have more than one child. I have good friends that have two and three children, and so there's a huge amount of population that's growing there. So for that. We look to Asia. Um, you know, another thing that, again, people ask us all the time, they send in questions about, is it safe for me to go to China? It's extremely safe. I've been, again, I've been going there for over 35 years. I do a lot of business there. I'm there all the time. And it's a great way to really see how business is being done. So, again, we highly recommend that you visit our website, www.privatelabeluniversity.com. Look at the testimonials. Uh, look at our, our uh, import success formula. Uh, look at our programs that we offer for teaching people, whether you're starting a physical product business or you're a retailer or you want to expand a business or you just, you know, you're, you're tired of what you've been doing for the past 35 years. You want to get into something new. Maybe it's a product. Maybe it's something you invented 20 years ago or just two days ago on a napkin. Um, you know, we used to joke around because we met with so many companies that, you know, we take your napkin sketch idea and we, we, we help you bring it to life because we introduce you to the, the resources and the sources in China 
um, in other countries, but explaining to you what you should do when you're starting your company and being successful at it, the tools that you really need um, with looking at logos and uh, packaging and you know launching your product. There, there's That's what makes companies successful, uh, and we love to see companies being successful. So uh, we urge you to visit our, visit our website at www.privatelabeluniversity.com and see everything that we have to offer. Um, we really do help you unlock the secrets to your online selling success, whether you're a retailer or you're an online seller, or you just want to start a new physical product business. Uh, we're there to help you, and we love to see people being successful. So again, visit our website, and any questions you have, please send us in your questions. Again, we always like to talk about new products that we find on Amazon. Any new products that you see on Amazon, please reach out to us. Just send us a note and tell us what, you, what your great find is, because I see great finds all the time. So again, this is Karen and Neil Gortzman from the Private Label University, and we'll see you next week. I want to be a billionaire so freaking bad. Thank you for joining Karen and Neil Gortzman at 710 KNUS, the Private Label University, the only show that dares to unlock the secrets to your online selling success so you can start making money and living your dreams. Remember to visit us over at www.privatelabeluniversity.com com for tons of free content. While you're there, leave us a message and we'll air your comments and questions on the show. Listen to us every Sunday at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. The dynamic duo, Karen and Neil, are now signing off.